Happy New Year, and thanks for joining me here on TCM. For the past several Saturdays, we've been bringing you Fireside Favorites with the hosts, a chance for Ben, Alicia, Eddie, and Jacqueline to introduce some of their favorite films. Tonight is my turn, and my second choice is a powerful romantic drama that I discovered soon after its release when I was a teenager, and one that frequent TCM viewers already know is the movie that most makes me cry. From 1986, it's Children of a Lesser God, directed by Randa Haynes and based on the play by Mark Medoff. Marley Matlin won an Oscar for Best Actress for her fantastic performance as a stubborn, willful, hearing-impaired woman who works at a school for the deaf. Her headstrong refusal to interact with anyone in the hearing world brings her into conflict with a new teacher at the school, played by William Hurt, who has his own unorthodox methods. Marley Matlin was only 19 when she was cast in this role after she was spotted in a Chicago stage production. There's so much to admire in this film. Matlin's fierce performance, which was remarkably her film debut, William Hurt's charmingly idiosyncratic work opposite her, the unforgettable supporting cast of young deaf actors who played the students, and my absolute favorite scene near the end that plays over the Pointer Sisters hit, Jump For My Love. I won't say any more about it for now, just be on the lookout for it. In college, I used to drive my friends crazy trying to get them to watch this film with me. Now more than 25 years later, I'm so thrilled to get to share it with you. From 1986, also with Piper Laurie and Philip Bosco, here is Children of a Lesser God. Marley Matlin's Oscar win made her the youngest recipient of a Best Actress Academy Award. As was Oscar tradition, she received her statue from the previous year's Best Actor winner, who happened to be her co-star, William Hurt. The film itself received five Oscar nominations, including for Hurt as Best Actor, Piper Laurie playing Matlin's mother as Best Supporting Actress, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Picture. At the Oscar ceremony, Matlin presented the nominees in the Best Sound category using American Sign Language to communicate their names. Since then, Matlin has had an active career in movies and on TV, including Seinfeld, The L Word, Switched at Birth, My Name is Earl, and one of my favorite films from last year, Coda, which I would encourage any fan of Children of a Lesser God to check out. Up next on Noir Alley, Eddie Muller presents a film that's especially appropriate for the new year, starring Lewis Hayward and Joan Leslie.